Hi everybody, welcome to Live Blogger. In the previous video, I showed you how to design this page right here using HTML and CSS. So here we can see we have this button called Connect With Us. And if I hover over this button, we have these three social media links displayed over here. And we also have this animation. So in this video, I'll show you how to add this design to your Blogger website. And I will also leave the link of the source code in the description of this video. So let's get started. Alright, so here I'm in the dashboard of my Blogger website and uh, the theme that I'm using is called Contempolite, which comes by default with Blogger. But now to add this to any of the pages of our website, we need to go over here to Posts or Pages and you have to go into the specific page and then you have to go to the HTML view by clicking on this uh, button and going to HTML view and adding the styles inside the style tag and uh, the HTML right here and the JavaScript inside the script tag. So if you want to add this inside a post or a page, you have to do that. But we need to add this design to the whole website. So for that, we need to add it inside the theme code. So let's go over here to theme and let's click on this arrow and let's click on edit HTML. And uh, now let's add our code over here. So I'll just go to the CSS. So here we can see this is all the CSS of our theme. So let's scroll down and let's go to the end of the CSS theme. All right, this is where the CSS ends. So let's go ahead and make some space over here. And uh, let's create a comment. And here let's tap social buttons. And let's go to our source code. And I will leave the link of the source code in the description of this video. So let's go over here to the style.css file. And let's copy all the CSS from here. So let's select everything and let's copy and paste it inside here. So the CSS has been copied. Now let's go to our uh, HTML file and uh, let's copy the HTML. So the HTML starts from this div till the end of this div. And uh, let's copy this from here and uh, let's go to the end of our theme code. And here just before the body tag ends, I'll just paste the HTML. So let's paste it over here. And uh, the next thing we need to do is uh, we need to change the content. So here we can see we have this uh, button text called connect with us. So this is the text that we see over here. Now you can change this to anything you want by changing this uh, value. And then we have the social icons division where we have this anchor tag. And here you can add the link of your social media pages. So when we click on these uh, links, we should go to that page. And then here you can add the links of your social media icons. So I already have this images folder over here in that we have these uh, three images. Now in our blogger website, we don't have a folder called images. So we need to upload the image somewhere and get the link and paste it over here. So let's do that. And for that, we're going to use a service called Cloudinary. So you can just go to this website called cloudinary.com and create a free account and then log into the account and go to media library and uh, here you can find all the images that you have uploaded so here we can just create a new folder or you can also add the images right here i just create a new folder so here let's go to folders and let's create a new folder and uh, let's name it social icons and let's click on save so here we can see we have this new folder called social icons so let's go into the folder. I'll just double click on this folder. All right, now let's upload the images. So I'll just click on this upload button and let's click on browse. You can also upload the images from a link or all these other options. But I'll just select my files and let's click on browse. And here we can see we have these three images from our design. So I'll just select all of these and let's click on open. And now we can see all the three images have been uploaded. Now we can just go ahead and copy the link and paste them over here. So let's copy the link of this Twitter icon. So let's click on this button to copy the link. And let's go over here to this Twitter image and uh, let's paste the link over here. And let's do the same for the other images. So for Facebook, we have this icon. So let's copy this. And here instead of Facebook, let's add it right here. And then lastly, we have the LinkedIn icon. So let's copy the link and uh, let's paste it over here. 
Right now, if you want to remove one of these social links, you can just go ahead and delete this anchor tag from here. So for example, if you want to remove LinkedIn, you can just go ahead and delete this anchor tag. And in the same way, you can also add a new anchor tag for a new social media link. All right, so that's basically it with the editing of our theme code. And uh, let's click on save and let's see whether everything works all right. So let's go back to our dashboard. And let's click on this button called view blog. And here we can see that our design is not being displayed. But if you scroll down, here we already have the design, but uh, it is not above all the other content. So we need to add a Z index to this. So let's go back to our CSS. And here in the socials container division, let's add a Z index. And uh, let's set the value to let's try 800. And let's click on save. And let's go back to our website and let's reload this page. And now we can see that our connect with us button is being displayed. And if you hover over this, we have the animation and everything working all right. So that's basically how you can add this connect with us button to your blogger website. Now you can go ahead and change the positioning of this button according to your needs. So if you go back to the CSS, here we can see that we have set the top to 80 pixels and the right to 30 pixels. So you can change these values. So for example, if you want to display this button on the top left side you can just change this to for example left of 30 and the button will be displayed right here so let me just show you that so here let's type left and let's click on save and let's go back to our website and let's reload this page and now we can see that our button is being displayed on the top left side Alright, so that's basically it for this video. If you have any doubts, you can ask in the comments below. And if you like this video, please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a nice day.